Hello? Yeah. You sure? Chief said that ain't it, man. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Luigi, back at it with another video. Right now, I'm currently getting ready to go finish up the Fall Look book, but before I do that, I figured I'd give you guys another quick little video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the top five ugliest sneakers, in my opinion. I know a lot of these people actually own some of the sneakers that are in this video, and at the end of the day, it is okay to disagree. Not everyone has the same taste, but I'm just gonna give you guys my opinion on the top five sneakers that I think are garbage. <laughs> I just, I just don't understand why anyone would buy or wear these sneakers, but let's just get into it. Coming in at number five spot, we're raking it from the worst to the most garbage. <laughs> and for number five, I feel like I go in on this sneaker so much, but I don't care because I honestly really think it's ugly. It's gonna be the Yeezy 500. I don't care if it's the blush or the other colorways. I don't care. That sneaker to me is just it's just ugly like I just will never understand it I don't like it I'm not a big fan of it and I see a lot of people that talk shit about the sneaker and a couple people that I follow on insta they'll say that the shoe is ugly and then they'll post it on their story like of them wearing it why do you buy the sneaker in the first place it, that sneaker to me is just straight all hype I don't aesthetically it's not pleasing to me for the Yeezy 500 that that ain't it chief that that ain't it for the number four sneaker this is gonna be a surprise it is an off-white sneaker and I know what you're thinking like oh man this guy you're bugging <laughs> don't get me wrong there's plenty of off-white sneakers honestly the whole collab by itself majority of it is really dope yeah I will admit that but there's one particular shoe that I really don't like and I really think is ugly and honestly the hype surrounding the sneaker makes it popular it is gonna be the Converse off-white and I'm talking about the translucent one. Let's keep it so real here, man. That sneaker is extremely ugly. Like, number one, I'm not even a big fan of Chucks just because they're not comfortable. And yeah, before you say anything, I know that Nike bought them and, you know, they changed the, the insole on them so they're more comfortable. That still ain't it, Chief. But besides that, that sneaker is ugly. Just think about it. You you take that off-white, like, you, you take away the off-white, and if we're keeping it real, if Converse just released that sneaker by itself, it would sit and nobody would buy it. But because it's off-white and it has that stigma, everybody's like, oh man, that sneaker's fire, it's dope. That sneaker's ugly, Chief. Let's keep it real here, man. And, and it bothers me that the resale price is, is at like a thousand on StockX. Why? Like, it, no, again, it's aesthetically not even cool. Like, it's just ugly to me. But, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's going to have their own opinion. There are going to be some people that like the sneaker. That's fine. But obviously, if you're watching this video, you want my opinion on certain sneakers. That shit is garbage. You can't change my opinion. I hate that sneaker. And that's why it is number four on the list, the Off-White Converse. The number three spot. And as you can kind of tell, the sneakers are getting more ugly. It is a sneaker that I recently just found out about a couple days ago. Um, I was going to put another sneaker on the list. But after seeing this one, I'm like, nah, chief. I gotta put this garbage sneaker on here. So, if anyone is not aware, I guess every year, well yeah, every year Alexander Wayne does a collab with Adidas. You know, a lot of designer brands do collabs with sneaker with sneaker brands like, you know, Nike, uh, Adidas, uh, Puma, you know, all that stuff. Uh, this year, Alexander Wayne dropped, I think maybe six to nine sneakers. I'm not really sure the exact number, I don't really care. But there was one sneaker in particular that stood out. Who the fuck wears this? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> oh, let me get the actual name for this oh Jesus Christ okay <laughs> it is the Adidas Alexander Wayne turnout b-ball what the fuck <laughs> apparently it's supposed to be a basketball sneaker retail is I think it's 225 or 250 I don't I honestly I don't care enough to check I'll, I'll post it in the description with the sneaker but like I get it, it's supposed to be a basketball sneaker. But what in the fucking stormtrooper Himalaya mountain, fucking Sasquatch wearing fucking mountain hiking, snow avalanche shoe is this, bro? I would. If you wear this shoe, I hate you. That's it. I'm done talking. Fuck this sneaker. <laughs> Number two sneaker, it is gonna be a Nike sneaker. But before I announce the sneaker, let's talk about the older model of the sneaker. 
we have the Nike Presto. And I love that model. I absolutely do. I love the Presto. I love the Ultra Fly Knit Presto, which is kind of like a mid. And then you got the Off-White Collection Prestos. Those are fire. Absolutely fire. I love the Presto model. I think it's really dope. Nike did a really good job designing that. You know, it was really dope. Uh, they have different variations of it. Like they have, um, they have the mesh. I think they have a leather one. Uh, the acronym collab is really dope too with the Prestos. Overall, it's just a really dope sneaker. And then Nike fucked it up. <laughs> by releasing the Nike Presto Fly. I I can't understand why they would release a sneaker. And I know a lot of girls actually wear the sneaker. I know a lot of people who own the sneaker. And it's just, aesthetically, it's really ugly. Cause if you think about what the sneaker was before to what they tried to make it into, it, it's, it's ugly. Like you look at the Presto and look at the fly. It's like, yo, come on, man. Like Nike, what are you doing? That sneaker is extremely ugly. I would never buy my girl that sneaker. Hell no. That is just, it's ugly. It's just, no, like it's ugly. Like you can't put that sneaker on with an outfit and walk out the house thinking you did something. It looks cheap to me and it's just, it's a no for me, dog. No. All right, guys. So taking the number one spot for the most ugliest sneaker I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a lot of ugly sneakers, but this one, this just fuels the argument that I have that designer brand sneakers are just ugly in my opinion, but that's for another video topic. We have, okay. I might, hold on, I'm, oh God, I'm gonna throw up, hold on. Mason Margella Fusion Sneaker. My child's first grade drawing bullshit sneakers. Like, bruh, yo, now nah, hold on. Let, let's bring the sneaker back. Hold on. What the fuck is this, man? You got this shit looks like it's glued together. Like, oh my god, no. They had the audacity to retail this sneaker to, at $1,645. Yo, if you wear this sneaker, man. Yo, like, there's no justifying this. You're a hype beast. I don't care, man. No, like, you're not even a hype beast. You, you might be the final boss of hype beasts. Like, when you defeat all all the hype beasts, they have to come to you for the final battle. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> you're the old, you're the last boss of hype beasts if you wear the sneaker. It's ugly as hell. You cannot tell me that that sneaker is fire. Like, if you like this sneaker, I I don't want to associate with you. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps it up for the top five ugliest sneakers ever in my opinion. Like I said before, it's perfectly fine if you disagree with this list. I know a lot of people own some of the sneakers on this list, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put out a video once a week. And I will try to push out two videos a week. I just have been a little busy lately. But um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Right now, I'm about to go head out and finish the rest of the fall lookbook, which I plan on dropping before uh, the end of November. I will try to put out that video very soon. I have a lot of dope outfits. It's just a lot of filming, a lot of production basically into going into this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys follow me on all my social media at underscore Luigi. And I'll catch you guys next time on the next video. Peace.